Hello guys! Here's Jiří with a new video about the Caffeine Player. First of all, let me thank you for all the feedback you've sent to me. It was very useful and I tried to fix at least some bugs you've told me about. I prepared a new version of the Caffeine Player, so surely there will be a lot of new bugs. So please tell me about them. Uh, about this release, I was thinking how to make a player for Raspberry a little bit cooler. Just an ordinary playback is nothing special. So what about the streaming? Uh, still, we are quite limited by the Raspberry computing power, but it could be enough for an overview or simple security camps. So let's prepare an example setup. So we completed the installation and because I want to support myself I bought a license. So I already prepared it here. So let's copy the code. Redeem code. That's good. That one's registered. And the second one as well. So system. Again I already prepared it. Copy the license and enter the code. Perfect. So you've probably already uh, seen player setup. What's new here is a streamer setup. As you can see, I don't have connected uh, any uh, USB web camera or uh, USB grabber. So I use this one. Okay, let's connect it and wait. Wait a few seconds. Okay, it looks like uh, it's found. Yeah, for webcam, I will use lower resolution and also audio device, audio micro microphone uh, in the web camera itself. Let's name it, for example, Ika Pane Left. We can auto run it after boot save and turn on the stream. Okay, it looks like it's streaming because the light went blue. So let me select the player and we can try it just by playing it uh, on, a, on a local a local site. Oh, good, it's playing. So that's me. <laughs> uh, so that's fine, but it's not too much interesting. It's just local webcam, but of course it's working like classic streamer. So I will use second Raspberry. Also select the streamer. Connect the webcam. Why not with sound? Okay, auto run. And ah, I forget the name, so Dika Pain Right. Okay, save. Let's run the streamer. So the blue light is there, so we can try to play it. Ah, we can see left, right. So 
first. Let's play right one. Okay, it's me again. So why not have a conference? I will select the decaffeine left, save it and play. So on the right raspberry, I'm seeing the left web camera. And I will change the keyboard again. So I will on the left raspberry see the right camera. Okay, let's wait a few seconds. Ah, I got the right camera. So save it and play. Okay, so now here the left picture is the right camera and right picture is the left camera. So good. The frame per second aren't so perfect, but for just some ordinary security cam or just some overview cam, it should be enough. So that's a new functionality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's working. <laughs> and again, uh, if you send me any feedback, I'll be happy to hear it. I have one more example. The sender is not designed only for USB web cameras. Uh, it can be used also for USB grabbers. So I have this nice uh, USB HDMI grabber uh, and just ordinary uh, camera. You can see it's working, HDMI output. So I will interconnect them. Okay. And Insert grabber into left raspberry. Click on the streamer, and yeah, we can see it in here. So the name is the cafe in left. Video in is HDMI capture card. Video format. We have only two video formats here: full HD 50 FPS. Uh, I was like the motion JPEG one because uh, it's it's faster. Normally, it's much faster than YV. And we, we can also uh, choose audio input, why not? I will turn on the stream. Okay. And on the right raspberry, I will try to play it. So I don't have decaffeine right stream anymore because I stopped the streamer. So I select the decaffeine left one. And let's push the play button. So you can see here's the here's the view from the camera. Again, the FPS are horrible. It's full HD, it's full HD picture. But it's working.